Hey guys, uh, this is Radio with the Hyperbolic Bubble for a tutorial on, uh, I guess, utilizing Studio, um, specifically when it comes to building autopilot. <clears throat> uh, so here we are at the site. Um, you're going to click on Studio. That'll take you to the Studio. <laughs> um, if you're not coming through the Hyper website, it's uh, livestream.com slash studio. So... Here we go. Kind of. <clears throat> All right. This black times infinity. All oh white. Lord. <laughs> okay, so uh, we're in studio. Um, basically, uh, if you're broadcasting videos live, you do it from the broadcast live tab. Uh, so if you wanted to pick a storyboard that's existing, you know you can pick one and play it here, but if you're managing a library, you actually want to go to the Manage Library tab. Uh, and this will show you all of your folders, uh, the bottom of which is Recordings. So you go into Recordings, and you've got your clips. Um, you see that I have been very uh, not diligent with my clips lately, and I've got a bunch of Dead Rising that needs to be moved, etc. Um, so, first off, let's move a clip. Um, I, keep, I keep the uh, folders, we keep them in alphabetical order, but I keep the folders that uh, I'm currently streaming down at the bottom by recordings, just because it's easier to move the clips that way. Um, you can do whatever you want, I don't really care. Um, when you, the only weird thing about this is that sometimes when you click a clip, you see that that's only got a blue background behind it. It didn't actually uh, select it. If you try to drag it now, you'll sometimes be able to drag it, but it will, uh, it'll frequently uh, duplicate the clip, which you don't want to do. So um, one of the kind of annoying idiosyncrasies that you have to take care of is you have to select not your clip and then the clip that you want. It's got the pink outline on it now, which means that when you move it, it actually moves. <clears throat> Just like that. All right. Um, so the way that you build an autopilot is uh, we have one we have one storyboard that we're that we're running for autopilot um, and it's filled with all these clips and what that does for us is that uh, if someone goes live in the middle of a clip it'll restart that clip well it'll restart the, that clip on the storyboard um, sorry it'll restart that clip unless it's a piece of a storyboard so um, <laughs> essentially uh, you put if you build your storyboard like this, you put each of your individual clips into it. Then, if someone goes live in the middle of Zelda LTTP uh, 47 boss fight Ganon Winrar, um, when they go unlive, rather than replaying that over and over all day, uh, it'll skip directly to Batman Arkham Asylum Part 37. Um, so easy, right? So the way that we put that into autopilot is we go down into our recordings folder. Um, well, or wherever it is, you know. Let's say that you've actually already recorded it. I want to put a I want to put a Xeno Clash clip in, right? So what I'm gonna do is go into Xeno Clash, um, and I find Boss Birdman here, and I'm gonna grab it like this, and I'm gonna drag it up to autopilot. So you notice I dragged it out of the right pane. That's me dragging the clip from its current storyboard and into the autopilot storyboard. Now you click on autopilot, and what it's done is appended that clip all the way at the end. Which we can test by clicking on it. So there it's Xeno Clash and Boss Fight. Um, if you want to edit the title and stuff, you know, that's, that's always helpful. Birdman. <clears throat> Whatever. And then you drag it up to the top, kind of piecemeal. This is the part that really annoys me, and I, I don't even know if I'm doing it wrong or what the deal is, but um, repositioning the clip within autopilot fucking sucks. Uh, you can't, I can never get it to go more than one screen at a time, so I have to grab it, drag it up top. Well, it didn't move, so I do it twice. 
Okay, that time it moved. So now I have it up by like seven clips. Well, if I want something at the top of autopilot, um, it takes me like fucking nine hours. <laughs> um, but essentially that's it. Uh, that's recording, uh, you know, managing videos and sticking them into autopilot. Um, likewise, if you want to delete a video from autopilot, you just click the X. Are you sure you want to delete it? Yes. Um, you didn't actually remove it from down here, so it's it's fine. Like the the clip still exists, so we're good there. Um, and that's basically it. Uh, if you have any questions, ask me to edit this video. <laughs> um, but I guess uh, thanks for watching and have a good day.